So, so far this morning, what have we done? We went for a walk. Yeah. We're eating bagels. <laughs> Does that bagel, per chance, have chocolate spread on it? Yes. Um, <laughs> and what do we have? We have omelets and bagels. Omelets and bagels. Okay, Nathaniel, what are we up to today? Making bugs. Oh, totally nasty. So, we've just melted the stuff, haven't we? You know, wriggly worms, and it's your maggot, and then you're going to set the scene. Are you? Is it for April Fools? For Dad? Show him that there's maggots around. Nice. And Eden burst her big ball of goo, and now her babies are swimming in it. Nice, huh? Eh? So Eden is making this pizza squares because it's her friend Abby's birthday, which you all heard about. And she um, wanted, what does Abby want to do, Eden? A pizza party. A pizza party. So we are making our own pizzas here. We're about, I don't know, are we about 100 miles away from each other? Something like that, maybe not quite. And so she is going to have hers in her house. And because of COVID, we're going to have ours in our house. So Eden is now making the sauce. At the moment, we've got a tin of chopped tomatoes. I'm about to do two big dollops of tomato puree. So off you hop. Big, bigger dollops, that's it. That would say one dollop and another one. Another one. Thank you. Another one. Like two big, it's supposed to be like a tablespoon, so we'll give a bit of that like this. Like, good. And that timer was for our yeast, wasn't it? A teaspoon of sugar goes in. So, yeah, that was good. Just whack it in and put your spoon back in. Next is a teaspoon of Italian seasoning or dried herbs or whatever version you have. So off you go, put a teaspoon in that. This will be interesting. See if we get the teaspoon in, let's see. And do you want me to do it for you? You got it? That's it, perfect. Put that in. Put that into there. Okay. Nice. A teaspoon and a lot A teaspoon and a bit, good. This is now gonna go on the hob. Do you want to pick it up and put it onto the stove? Manage, oh, two arms. That's it, ammo. Put it on, whoop, do. Ammo, turn on the stove. And we will put that at six, and then we will let that stew down and become a nice sauce for our pizza. So we've got to get to 500 flour in the bowl. It looks, it looks like... Um, so that's 67. You've got a good bit to go yet. It looks like sand. It does look a bit like sand, doesn't it? Yeah. It's a sort of a wholemeal flour, so that that's 100 and six. So you'll need another another five of that much, pretty much, or four and a half anyway. Good more. Good big big spoons, I think, still. Do you want some help? No, thanks. 497 now. Take this much. That's 503, 504. We could take out a little tiny bit just to make it actually 500. You have to add in. Okay. Yes, you can definitely do it. So you have to put that into there. Are you ready? Okay, pour it in. Oh, excellent. Let's take it to the mixer. Hopefully it will work really well. Sounds like a fire alarm or a car alarm. <laughs> okay, Eden has been kneading. Kneading, kneading. Has been kneading for a little while. How's it feeling, Eden? Is it nice um, and soft? Yeah. Yeah. Can feel? Yeah. We got your thumbs. You can, you look, you can put it in and does it pop back up again a wee bit? Yeah. yeah, a wee bit. So we're going to put it in a in a bowl, aren't we? Yeah. This is a bowl here, and I'm going to put some oil around the circumference of the bowl, so that, look at this, I'll put a wee bit in here, just a wee tiddly bit. Can I try? Yeah, so you don't take your hands, Eden, and run the oil all around the bowl. It's messy enough, so it gets so. I'll take the camera and let you see this. Look, can you see that? There we go, look at that round the sides. It smells a little bit. It does smell a little bit. It's an olive oil, so that's kind of a funny little smell. Okay, so it's been a wee while and the jelly insects, that's the microwave <laughs> with the bottles, they're rising. So the jelly insects have set, we think, haven't they? Yeah. Don't show them, don't show them what it looks like. These are invertebrates, aren't they? What does invertebrate mean? It means it doesn't have a backbone. That's right. So, do you want to see if you can get them out? Oh, sorry. 
I'm gonna move this towards you. And there is a one. What's wrong with him? Oh, oh great. maybe. I'm not sure if that's a worm or not. Mm, not exactly I think it is sure a worm. Okay. It probably is a worm though. Is it like a little maggot larvae sort of thing? I think so. Probably a larvae, yeah. Yeah, maggoty thing. What is this then? Hmm. If that one was. A, if this one's a worm, then. No, yeah, that one's, one's like even wormier worm. Mm -hmm. Maybe there's this one's one like a more centipede. thing in the packet, which kind of we spilled a little bit, so I don't know if it'll come out very well or not. Look what the final's made. Lots of little. Do you want to hold them? Little poopy worm? Okay. Oh! <laughs> Is that interesting? Should you get an apple and make it look like thing? Yeah, how do you know about that? You do actually, as Eden said, you put the maggots sort of around and then you put the half an apple and a worm in it. So that'll be April Fool's Day, won't it? Yep. Yeah, that looked pretty cool. Yeah. It is five past two. I've not really made a pond. Things are rough. But I just want to tell you this here, a thermos mug normally has a lid on but I've just taken it off. I made it this morning. In fact Nathaniel made it for me at before eight this morning and it's still hot like you know couldn't burn myself on it but it's going right I can feel it all the way down. Do you know what I mean? It's such a good mug. So they're about if you get them in TK Max <laughs> they're about fifteen pounds in um Lakeland brand new the real season or of the deal and all that are twenty five pounds. It's a lot, it feels like such a lot, but it does genuinely, if you went walking up the hills for the day and came back to your car, this would be hot waiting for you. Um, it's really, really, really good. And I love it. And Jonathan bought me it for a Valentine's present this year. In fact, it was our anniversary present, which we don't normally do. So it was, yeah, so it was like in September. So I've just absolutely adored it. We have other mugs. Not as good. Um, so maybe there's other kinds that are just as good as this, but this genuinely, I would say if I opened it the next day at the same time, it would still be drinkable, hot, hot, hotable. It would be hotable. So here's the pizzas that's happening. Not a massive amount of tomato sauce, because it's not our favorite, but hopefully it will taste amazing. Got some ham over this side. Something ends up having some sweet corn, is that right, Eden? Yep. And the final, you're going to have cheese. Ham and pineapple. Pineapple. Are you gonna have them? Well, some people say you should never put on on a pizza. Here's the finished product, looking pretty amazing. Happy birthday, Abby. What are you having? Pizza. Because of Abby's birthday, isn't that right? And you've yes. made the pizza today, didn't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So we'll say happy birthday to Abby. Oh, happy birthday! Happy birthday, Abby. Happy birthday. Oh, who's up there? Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Hope you have a great day!